plug in, insert a master in the top drive, put blanks in the three lower drives, press copy. If there are problems, you call this number. This is called a duplicator. It's manufactured by a company called the Super Media Store. And yes, it has media. There we are. Hold in this button, turns it on. You have to count to three. One, two, three. See that word? It's booting up. It's checking its memory. It's checking the device. And then it's system checking as well. What you have inside is an actual computer. Now, that is typical. It seems to need a little bit more warming up. So I have to hold the button in. I think it's always good to see an actual startup rather than just reading through the instructions and expecting students to do something. Let's show them how they actually go, what actually happens in the real world. Now, what I found is that if I keep my finger on here, keep talking to you a little bit longer, copy, test, speed, you'll probably only be using that copy button. That's what you'll have to press. There it is, and I release. Yes, it's warmed up enough. Now, top one, press on this side to open it. Here it says, SATCD. At this point, I'm going to put in a different DVD, something that I need to copy. And I find those over here. These are all items that could be copied for a variety of reasons. I have here headlines, miners, San Francisco cable car, fabulous. So we'll make that the master. Okay, that goes in. Remember, we open it by pressing and it opens. Now, we have a blank here, and we know it's blank because if we look closely, there's one color all the way across. If we look at one of these, and see very closely, see the two colors? Color, 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 color. Those two colors indicate cut, uncut. This is one color here. Place it face down. Well, I consider it the cutting edge. This cutting edge is face goes down. We we'll press in again. Now, with some of these machines, it will automatically sense that there is a blank. But this one, to press the copy, and it says, hey, wait, you haven't put in all of the copies. I'm not going ahead until I have uh, enough blanks, unless you tell me that it's okay to go with one blank. It's got one disk, it wants to know, is it okay? The 4055M, hmm, that's megabytes. What's, okay, 4,000 megabytes? Cover up three of them. That means there's four, yes, gigabytes. And that's the size of a typical um, DVD. It's about four gigabytes. That number there is a G, I mean, if you cover it. 4,000 megabytes? four gigabytes. This takes about seven minutes. Let's gain some familiarity of this. If the power goes off while this process is going on, the, there could be some damage to the cutting device, but generally there's not. So if there's a power failure, don't worry about it. You do not want to just move this. If you have to move the box, shut it down after it's been finished. We have here a one is pulling air in, so you have to leave enough space here for air to come in. And this one is pushing the air out, so it has a positive pressure out. It's pulling the pressure out. This generally keeps it very clean inside. And, well, it's probably dusty, and at some point these 
screws should be removed and then dusting should take place. Um, yes, you can tell the date of manufacturer, 82907. This video is made in 2010, so this is three years old. The warranty is broken because I had to go in there and put a new chip. There was a problem with this. So, <laughs> this part here is where the drive is. So, when, sometime part of the club, perhaps, if you want to join the internet club, we will be downloading material and then learning how to burn stuff onto CDs and DVDs. Download, convert, burn onto a CD, a CD, and then, or a DVD, and then make copies for the rest of the people. People in the internet club will have an opportunity to create the, the yearbook, if possible. Why not? Let's have a yearbook. Everything on DVD. I hope this video has given you some ideas. And once again, just plug in, insert the master in the top drive, put blanks in the lower drive, and press copy. So these are the three lower drives. This is the master. We don't want to touch buttons. I think if I touch buttons, will anything happen? <coughs> Nothing. Okay. We are about 11% finished. That means, how much do you have to multiply 11% to get to 100%? Well, 9 times will give us 99. So that's pretty close. So if I wait, oh look, it's almost 8 times. So 8 times the time that we've taken. Uh, we've been talking for about 2 minutes. 2 minutes times 8 will give us um, an estimate of oh, 16 minutes. Over here, our collection of CDs and DVDs that I've recorded with my other students. And a view right here. Yes, this right here, beautiful. This is the um, hmm. checkers, chess, backgammon. They will be part of the internet club as well. Thank you for your time and I look forward to answering your questions. If you'd like to call me right now, doesn't matter if it's 10 p.m. at night, you can at least leave a message on my mobile phone. And here it is. 954-646-8246. Please give me your suggestions.